Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm Season 2. Now I apologise for the delay since the last episode, I just kind of fancied a little bit of a break from Terraria. I kind of needed it for the sake of my sanity. So, yeah, but well, that's uh, that's not to say that I'm stopping to ride, like, at all. Like, just every now and again, if I need to have a tiny little break, then I would appreciate your guys' patience, which a lot of you guys did show, so I very much appreciate it. Now, guys, if you are excited for the episode, if you're excited for more Python's Realm, then please do be sure to drop a like rating, because as I say, it is by far and away the best way to let me know if you want to continue seeing more. Once again, uh, by not doing it, I kind of figure that, oh, hey, maybe you don't want to see the series anymore, so, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, like rating. They do mean the world to me and they really do sort of signify whether people want to see a certain series or not So yes, but uh, yeah guys like I say thank you very much for the support Thank you very much for your patience and uh, today we are going to the jungle because I would really like to try and find myself an anklet of the wind now as far as I know I think I've got all of the accessories aside from that yep necessary so we've got the aglet we've got the specter boots all we need is the anklet of the wind and then we can make ourselves the lightning boots pre-hard mode uh, I'll tell you something it might be kind of nice to try and make ourselves the lava waders as well like if we're lucky enough to find a lava charm that might come in useful so Anyways, so before we get to it, obviously we've got regen, we've got iron skin, we've got mining potions. I think those three combined should be good enough to get us going. Uh, wait, wasn't there a traveling merchant around here somewhere? What the hell is he doing there, man? Oh, what a dude, man. What a dude. Right, so let's get over here. Let's see what this guy has. He's having a bit of a spaz out party. I don't know what the heck's going on there, but look at this. He's selling the code one yo-yo. Dude, if this was my yo-yo playthrough from way back in the day, I would have been absolutely ecstatic to see this. But, uh, I mean, we don't actually need it. But we're going to get it for the simple fact that I kind of want to collect them. Uh, DPS meter. Don't have one of them. Might as well. Magic hat. Did we have a magic hat in this world? I can't remember, but I'm going to buy one anyway. Uh, we've got some pad thai as well. Why not? I always like to buy at least some food. And then we've got some dynasty wood as well. I tend to buy a stack of this normally. Uh, so, you know, when it comes to it, we can get some stuffs going. Should we buy like a stack of shingles as well? Like eat shingles? And then eventually we can make like a pagoda themed build or something. Like a Japanese build. Oh, I thought it'd be kind of cool. So yeah, not a, not, not a bad load of stuff there, traveling merchant. Not a bad load of stuff. Awesome stuff. All right. Actually, what kind of damage does this do compared to the Amazon? That is the question. Where is my weapons chest? There it is. Right. Do we even have an Amazon? Uh. Yeah, I could have sworn we had an Amazon. Huh. Well. Was that on my other series? Was that on my live stream mode? I have no idea. But whatever the case, my friends, we're going to go ahead and put this stuff away. And then we are heading over to the underground jungle so yeah code one do i want to keep it on me i mean it could come in useful potentially i mean it does go a fair way it's quite long isn't it huh all right i'm gonna keep it we'll put it in place of the umbrella we just don't need the umbrella anymore in fact we're gonna put that away we're gonna put the umbrella away we don't need it and yeah it's just a waste of inventory really all right guys over to the jungle and here we go my friends we're at the jungle we are at the mouth of a cave entrance and uh, yeah we're about to head in this place and see what kind of things we can find we are of course looking for jungle shrines uh for the fact that uh, you know we can get boomsticks we can get the anklet of the wind which of course is our objective currently uh there's loads of things loads of really really cool things you can get in jungle shrines so uh you know the more we find the more chance of getting something that we might actually need the fiberglass fishing pole is another thing you can get and that thing is pretty damn good like i think it's even more powerful than the than the flesh catcher as far as i can remember so you know it would be actually really cool to find these things so uh, yeah good day to you sirs good day to you sirs i think it may be time to uh, to begin using some of our potions so let's buff up we have pretty much everything night owl as well I didn't even realize we picked up a night owl, but you know what? I'll take it, man. I'll take it. So, in addition to everything else that we're doing, we could also kill, like, many, many birds with one stone because uh, it would be cool to get ourselves a knight's edge at some point. And, uh, obviously, that is going to require a bunch of stingers, some, uh, some uh, what are they called? Spores? Jungle spores? Uh, and, yeah, and, you know, just get the grass blade in general. I think that would be a pretty cool idea. So, yeah. All right, so we are going to do a little bit of spelunkying. There's a lot of slimes around here, which, you know, no complaints and all that. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. There's a Hermes boot statue. 
cool. <laughs> It'd be cool if the Hermes boot statue actually gave you like a bit of a speed buff. Uh, like if you activated it with with wire, I think it should give you a bit of a speed buff. Like in addition to like how some flowers do. Huh? Does that sound like a cool idea? I think it sounds like a cool idea. Alrighty guys, I think we found ourselves our first jungle shrine style loot chest in that, uh, you know, failing finding, you know, shrines. I believe you can get the same kind of loot in these chests here. Or maybe not. An extractinator. You're gonna give me an extractinator when I've already got a whole bunch of them. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I don't know. <laughs> Can't get the stuff, huh? Oh, well, not about it. We're going to continue on. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, we're getting loads of stingers. We've got some heart crystals as well. So at the very least, we can make ourselves some uh, heart lanterns for increased life regeneration at uh, any boss arenas that we decide to set up. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Hey, how about it, guys? We're using the code one yo-yo to freaking wreck these guys. Get destroyed. Oh, ancient cobalt leggings. Wasn't expecting that. Gives us more magical stats if we really wanted them. Uh, six defense, six defense. Huh, interesting. Same amount of defense, but I would, of course, lose the uh, the set bonus, which I've got to say, I'm rather fond of. So, you know, I'm going to go against using the ancient car, but it'll be quite nice to get the full set eventually. Hey, check it out, guys. There we go. Objective complete. We have gotten ourselves the anklet of the wind. Huh? Believe it or not, that's all I really wanted to get. But uh, do you know what? I don't think we're done with this exploration session yet, my friends. I really don't. Like, I've got a feeling that this place has got a lot more to give. At the very least, some uh, some moon glow and moon glow seeds. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, checking out another shrine house. What have we got? Another anklet of the wind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fine, fine. I mean, I've got no issues about that. Hey, platinum bars as well. That's not too bad. Uh, lead ore. I'll probably put that away. Hey, do you mind? If I know, I can put one of these on here to save a little bit of inventory space. We'll take the suspicious looking eye because why not? I'm almost uh, tempted as a little bit of a more fun thing to do. Maybe we could try taking down multiple bosses at once. I feel like I've got the I've got the bloodlust for Terraria bosses today. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is. Whether something's happened and my passion is like just needs reinvigorating and that's the way of doing it i have no idea man i have no idea but i kind of feel like i want to try and take down like multiple bosses at once because i feel like it'd be super super satisfying <laughs> hey that's something good to have early on especially i have to say against queen bee the bazaar immunity to poison that's going to be really really good against queen bee actually that's really cool to get i'm actually really really happy about that guys <laughs> Sweet! That's gonna make Queen Bee so much easier. Like, legit, it actually is. Hey, buddy, you need to die. Go on, get out of it. Hey, a depth meter. Do we already have one? Yes, we do. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, there's me thinking. I got something good. But apparently not. Anyways, guys, so I'm in the process of trying to grab myself a whole bunch of materials right now. We've got, like, honey blocks, hive. I've got bottled honey. And, well, I can actually make a couple of abominations right now. But uh, I want to make it so I can have a honey source on the surface so what i'd really like to try and do is just grab myself some stone get myself some stuff going get myself a couple uh, buckets of honey and then go from there have ourselves a little source on the surface right it would certainly save us having to come back down here all the time wouldn't it so yeah i don't know i'm just trying to you know trying to think ahead if you will just trying to think ahead and here we are back at base my friends we have ourselves well i actually put it away i've got five honey buckets right here yep there we go five honey buckets so i should be able to just place them all down and uh, failing us just making an area to get a bunch of uh, honey bottles from we can use it to get some little regen stations going right that'd be a cool idea but uh, anyways talking of cool ideas this thing right here is a cool idea it's lazy so negative speed it's still a shame that this thing isn't fully auto swing. I think if the blade of grass was fully auto swing, it would be a much more formidable pre hard mode weapon. But for now, the enchanted sword still trumps it by far. So yeah. Anyways, we have the ivy whip, which I believe may wind up being an upgrade for the web slinger. I know the web slinger shoots out a lot, but I think the ivy whip shoots out further. And in the meantime, we can make ourselves five abominations. That's incredible, actually. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. So, let's go and take inventory of what we have here. So, 
Three suspicious looking eyes. Five abominations. Uh, any other bosses that I could potentially take down? King Slime. I could maybe take down King Slime. I have Cthulhu and Queen Bee at the same time. I mean, I think I'd quite like to take down Queen Bee by herself first and then try it. Uh, because, you know, I want to make sure that I can actually take down Queen Bee first of all, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to go and do that. That is the plan. Take down Queen Bee first, and then if that all goes well, then we'll take down three bosses down at the same time. King Slime, I have Cthulhu, and Queen Bee. It'll be awesome, my friends. It will be awesome. I, I guarantee you it. Alright, cool. Right, let's get on with stuff. <laughs> And of course, let's not forget the whole reason we went down into the jungle in the first place. These bad boys, the lightning boots, plus 1% melee speed. I tell you what, I would not mind something a little bit better than that. Uh, meteorite candle, do you mind? I didn't want to, like, get rid. Right, boom. It's going to cost a lot, but we're going to give it a go. Melee speed, quick. Uh, movement speed, uh, yeah, why not? Okay, we'll go for movement speed right now because I don't see a reason why not. Maybe we can get something better on the bazaar. Uh, melee speed, armored, yeah, armored's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I think, uh, I think we should be good to go. Armored band of regeneration. I think we may take off the shield of Cthulhu in favor of the bazaar because like I say, the bazaar's gonna be very useful against Queen Bee, so yeah. All right, guys, let's get ourselves some potions. We're gonna head over to the jungle. We're gonna see about getting this battle going. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Unreal tendon bow! How about that, guys? How about that? 23 plus 7 damage is a minimum of 30 base damage. Add some crits onto them. We've got ourselves a pretty good weapon here, guys. We really, really do. So, and then plus on the archery potion as well. Oh my god, this thing's going to be amazing. Holy crap. All right, guys. Let's get on with it. Let's get over there. Let's get some battles going. Hey, pinky, pinky, pinky. How about you give me something cool, buddy? Uh, yeah. Three gold coins. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. Heck yeah, buddy. Right. Well, anyways, uh, let's get back to it. We have ourselves the abomination. We've got ourselves a bit of an arena going on here. So, let's buff up. Let's do the first one, my friends. We'll try using the tendon bow and see what happens. Good day to set. Wow, 39 damage, guys. We just need to make sure we have our aim on. Otherwise, you know, things won't go so well, will they? All right, here we go. So, the bazaar should work quite nicely. I mean, these guys are barely doing any damage whatsoever, which is always nice to see. This guy has got 4,760 health. Well, I say guy. I mean gal, of course. But, uh, yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad. The tendon bear is definitely doing the job. Pretty happy with it. Yeah, buddy. Come on, man. It's 3,700. About a quarter of the way done. Queen Bee. Oh, bee, bee, bee. It is past bee season, my friend. It is autumn. You shouldn't be around. So, you know, I'm afraid I have to expel you from the world. Ah, can you, like, not, sir? Right. I think when she's doing her whole dashing thing, that's when I can, like, take down the remaining straggling bees. You know? Oh, wow. She does, like, 21 damage per time. Hmm. Interesting. I'll tell you what. I wish I had a Molten Fury right now. This girl would probably be dead right now if I had a Molten Fury. But, you know. It's not to say I won't fail. Uh, it's just to say it will take maybe a little bit longer than I first thought. Right? I don't know. What do you guys think? She's about halfway done. About halfway done. Not bad. Not bad. We'll keep it going. Oh, my word. All right. And... Kill all the bees. Not the bees. Go away, BBs. Ugh, don't want you, man. Don't want you. Look at my health, man. My health is just absolutely... Yeah, it's just tanking everything. Look at that. 372. I'm regening faster than I'm taking damage. It's actually kind of hilarious when I think about it. Ha! Come on. Come on, you want to you wanna dash again there, broski? Come on, man. You got 1,600 health. We Look at me. I've got 360, and I'm freaking poning your ass. I mean, look at that ass. Trypophobia people may want to look away right now because your ass looks a little bit holy, if you ask me. I don't know, man. Ah. Ah, she's getting quick now. She's getting quick now, guys. She's getting quick. She's getting quick. She's a quick sharp. She's quick. She's sharp. She actually is. All right, come on. 900 health. Uh, yeah, crit chances are, like, going up to, like, 60, which is very, very good against Queen B. It has to be said. Come on. Ow. All right. She's going a bit nuts now. I can barely avoid it. Okay. Okay. That was actually kind of... Uh, that was actually... Uh, okay. And she's going again. She's going again. She's going again. She's going again. She's getting a bit nuts now, guys. Or should I say she's getting a bit honey? I don't know, man. Come on. She's nearly dead. She's so nearly dead. Come 
Come on. Like one more hit. There we go, guys. And check it out. We got ourselves a Queen Bee trophy as well. Not bad for a first run, if you ask me, guys. Not bad at all. Right, let's get ourselves some more of these things. And uh, this time, my friends, we're going to go ahead and get straight. Or do I want to try and get the bee's knees? Do we have a bee's knees? Uh, no. Oh, we have a, we have a bee gun. Uh, but not the bee's knees. I love the bee's knees, man. I really would like to have it. Anyways. So, is it night time? I think it is. So, King Slime, do it's not freaking night time. Why is it not night time yet? Bro! Blah! Come up! Night time is needed. There we go. I have Kachuchu and boom. Let's reinvigorate all of our buff potions, ladies and gentlemen. We have three bosses at the same time. We're going to try and take them all down. Taking them all downtown. All right, let's try using the Jester's arrows. This may endure better luck against, you know, multiple people at the same time. I mean, I mean actually, yeah, that's actually working quite nicely, to be honest. Uh, okay, 200 health. It's not to say we're going to do bad, not by any stretch of the imagination. We just need to try and avoid everybody. If we can avoid everybody, we should be able to do this thing, right? Right? You guys got faith in me? Have you guys got faith in me? That is the question. Because if you do, that may be all I need in order to take this, these peeps down. There we go. Fantastic. There we go. Almost back up to max health as well, which is really, really cool. Why is there a piranha jumping around on the floor? What kind of abomination are you, sir? I don't even know, man. There's something weird going on here, if you ask me. But I think he has just died, so, you know. It's not all that bad. It's not all that bad. All right, uh, I'll tell you what is bad, though, is my health. And he's taken a little bit of a beating, it has to be said. But that's not to say that we're going to fail. Because, like I say, you guys believe in me, right? Yes, that's all I need. Come on, 400 health, 300 health. This guy is getting absolutely schmung dingled right now. And we should get ourselves quite a, quite a hefty amount of heart droppage from this guy. Come on. And there we go. All right, there's a bunch of hearts on the ground now, guys. And if we take down all of the cronies as, as well, then we should really be okay. Okay, right. Come on. Do you guys think... Oh, there we go. He's gone into second form now. The Ivka Tuju is in second form, which means things could start getting a little bit hairy, if you ask me. Uh, 1,700 health. This guy is already darting around like the freaking moron that he is. I don't know what's going on right now. Just all sorts. Duh! Okay, 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 hi, hi, we're back up to max health though guys, not bad, if you ask me, oh, come on, come on, come on, we are nearly done with the Art Cthulhu, come on man, three bosses at the same time, absolutely easy peasy lemon squeezy if you ask me, ha, there we go, there we go, there we go, Ooh, it's so hard to aim at him, Okay, right, this is what we're doing. Do it. I don't even mind. I'm going to tank it for a bit. There we go. All right, so back to this thing. Ah, right, the Queen Bee is still looking like she's got 3,600 health left. Well, this may take a while, wouldn't it? All right, right, let's try using this for a bit. Maybe we can get a little bit more damage. Obviously, uh, mana is not regenerating. But, although, actually, yes, it is. Because, you know, I'm killing these guys and they're dropping little mana stars. I don't even have a proper magic setup. I'm just kind of doing it because why not? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, hello. Hello. Come on, then. You want to go, sunshine? I'm so ready. Well, there we go, guys. Three bosses at the same time. Easy peasy. When you have the right setup, it's easy peasy. Even on expert mode, eh? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. 2,000 health. This guy has got, like, less than half health left. And I have got quite a lot more than half health left. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Go on, give me my mana back, buddy. There we go. Right, it's when the it's when all these bees spawn. That's when they drop all the mana stars. Look at it. There we go. She's going mad. Go on then. Let's just see what we can do. Yep, more more bees means more mana regeneration. Fantastic. Please, please do keep <laughs> please do keep spawning in your bees, buddy. It'd be super appreciated. Come on. And come on. Maybe we can get a star from this guy. There we go. Uh, maybe not. All right, let's get over here. There's a few stars over here. Let's get some regen up in it. Yeah. This is how we do it, boys. This is how we do it. And just going mad again. Okay. A little bit of regen from the little mana stars on the floor. Very, very good. Right. Are you going to, like, stay still? I'd really like for you to, like, generate a whole bunch of bees and such. That would be really quite useful, to be honest. Come on. You gonna do that for me? Huh? You gonna do that for me? Oh, no. I don't have any mana left now. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Now you spawned them in, you freaking butt. How dare you? All right. Oh, now. Here we go. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's the good thing about when she spawns the little bees. They all drop little mana stars. Little mana regenerative stars. There we go. This is just becoming easy now, guys. Easy mode. Easy mode. As that. Easy. Come on. And almost dead. I feel like I'm doing barely any damage to her now, which is kind of hilarious when you think about it. All right, you need to die now, sir. Come on. Come on. Get destroyed. Just give up. Just give up. There we go. Fantastic. That's all I needed to do. Just give up. But there we go, guys. Three bosses at the same time. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But guys, we're going to leave the treasure bag opening until the next episode. So, as always, let's head into the comment question of the video, which is coming from Dutrode. I think it would be fun if you made your videos a little bit more enjoyable by speeding up the exploration section and letting us see more of the action. Also, that is a killer bait, obviously referring to this. I appreciate the kind words, and uh, yeah, regarding your common question, that's pretty much what I've tried to do in this episode. Like, I didn't do, or I didn't show much exploration on camera, I just tried to keep in the interesting bit, so... I mean, let me know what you guys think of this kind of episode style. I mean, if you want to see more, then leave a like rating, leave a comment, whatever it may be. Let me know that you want to see more of the style. So, you know, more of the action. Uh, but yeah, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode, my friends. I mean, come on, you got to drop a like rating for three bosses at the same time, eh? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Come on, come on, I see you there. Go on, go on, click that button. It'll be super appreciated. Hit the subscribe button while you're down there if you want to know when the future videos are out. And guys, it's going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.